Okay, this is uh, <clears throat> this is my reply to the GOP candidates and the um, the problems with the uh, GOP right now. And first of all, Obama is can beat any of these candidates uh, is beating them in the national polls right now. It uh, doesn't matter if Mitt Romney, who I'm sick of. Uh, Romney should know that uh, the Protestant fundamentalists, born again Christians, are not going to vote for a Mormon. Okay. <coughs> if uh, George W. Bush got uh, what 55 million votes uh, and Obama got 65 million votes, then you got to figure there's 10 million votes out there that Romney's not going to get, and. Uh, He's not going to get the votes Bush got, so there's no way he's going to beat uh, uh, Obama. Gingrich is uh, below that. He's going to lose Florida. Which is a bellwether state. Ron Paul has already gone to Maine because he's only 6% polling in uh, Florida. <clears throat> Apparently the Miami-Dade County Cubans are running uh, Florida. <clears throat> they fixed the election in 2000, so... Uh, Gore, uh, it looked like Gore lost Florida. If you recounted Florida, Gore won Florida. So uh, when Bush uh, recounted it, it was Gore's state. If Gore had conceded, he would have been president. We never would have had the 91 Iraq War. Because Richard Clark was telling uh, Clinton back in the 90s that uh, it was not uh, Saddam that blew up the Trade Center, it was bin Laden, and uh, everybody knew that except Condi Rice and Wolfowitz, who went into uh, Iraq. So anyway, all of that was a complete waste of eight years, and put us back uh, into the Stone Ages, I and mean, we're about where Nazi Germany was in 1945 after it had been bombed back into the Stone Ages, except we haven't been bombed, we're just flat broke and uh, busted and in debt, so, uh, except Hitler had billions that got uh, laundered by the Bush family and the uh, Tyson Steel Company under Fritz Tyson, <coughs> with the three banks uh, Tyson had in Berlin, Amsterdam, and New York. Uh, then the CIA hired about 4,000 Nazis here to spy on the Soviets, including General Reinhard Galen, Hitler's master spy against the Soviets, who lied to tell us the Soviets had 175 battle-ready divisions uh, ready to take over uh, Europe, uh, bomb the UK and the US, and uh, start the Cold War. So Galen uh, ran our NATO intelligence uh, in West Berlin and recruited East German uh, Nazis uh, to work for uh, the CIA. So we had uh, the KGB uh, black, uh, catching some of these fanatical Nazis in Russia, and Hitler's plan was to starve 40 million Russians to death, create a famine and starve them to death, and then enslave the rest. Uh, we fell for this hook, line, and sinker. I think we were, and fascism and racism are both uh, racist. And uh, America already had a racist past with the slave trade and the Civil War. Uh, we don't admit we need slaves, but basically uh, we have a second uh, class group of people here, uh, immigrants, illegal or whatever, we use as slaves. And uh, so there's a top and a bottom class here. The uh, the ruling class, the ruling ideology is the ideology of the ruling class. Uh, they don't want to admit they're uh, in the class warfare. I call it crass warfare. The history of mankind is a history of crass uh, struggles. Okay, So you have the uh, muddle crass pupils, the uh, so-called middle class. By the way, our foreign policy is based on uh, private laziness. Public opinion is based on private laziness, and our foreign policy is based on public opinion. Donald Trump has 10 keys to success. One of them says to be conscientious, know what you're doing. Well, I got to tell you, Donald, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't you haven't looked up the details. You need to talk to me. 
I can tell you that uh, Iran is not making nuclear weapons. Everybody knows that uh, has a brain. The CIA knows it. Putin knows it. Uh, John McLaughlin knows it. Uh, you'd be better off listening to John McLaughlin and Jimmy Carter than Newt Gingrich. Newt Gingrich is a complete loser. Uh, he is not going to win the primary, and uh, neither is Romney. And uh, Ron Paul, you said, doesn't have a chance. Uh, why? Because basically he's not supporting Israel. After we hired all these Nazis over here, uh, the Israelis were looking for Nazis, so they came over here and filtrated the CIA. Uh, they've got thousands of friends in every major city they've got their top spies here under deep cover with fake passports so uh, that you can't tell the difference from the real passports and uh... seems like the fbi is letting them run around right under our noses eric holder hasn't done anything i reported this to the fbi they've got a hit out on obama they're running drugs here uh, they consider new york and dc their playground they've got you fooled uh, They've got the American people fooled, and uh, Netanyahu comes over here and tells the Congress what to do. They've got uh, some congressman bought and paid for. Joe Lieberman is their man. Uh, Ed Koch uh, stopped uh, Jesse Jackson from winning the New York primary in '88 because they, uh, <coughs> the Mossad told him to. Uh, Told Koch to, uh, well, they didn't like Jesse Jackson because he supported the Palestinians' right to the homeland. Now, their own prime minister, Ehud Balrat, or whatever his name was, said that uh, they do not want a two-state solution. They, uh, they're they basically afraid the Arabs outnumber them in a one-man, one-vote system. They would be outvoted, so they will never give a two-state solution. They're using the money we give them uh, to, to build on the West Bank and pay the congressman who voted for this three billion in cash we're giving them every January this year we gave it to them then we froze for an aid. Israel ranks 29th in world economies does not need our money and uh, there's five African countries that need our money more than Israel does and Israel ranks 229th or something like that in world economy so uh, they uh, stole this West Bank in the 67 war. They killed 34 American uh, intelligence uh, officers on the USS Liberty. They uh, they wounded 174 torpedoed the Liberty. They knew we were li listening. We told them we heard them lying to Jordan, telling Jordan that Egypt had conquered uh, Israel. So when Jordan sent troops into Israel, they took the West Bank, the Gaza Strip, the Golan Heights, and the uh, Sinai Desert. They gave back the Sinai Desert under uh, Carter, and they, uh, Bacon didn't like this piece. Uh, they uh, Mossad considered it a weak piece. They had uh, Sadat assassinated two years later. They hired the, the Palestinian terrorists to do this. Um, anyway, the, uh, What's his name? LBJ was in Vietnam. He was afraid the Russians were going to come in. Russia was allied with Egypt. He didn't want to help uh, <coughs> Israel because he didn't want to get the money. Uh, the Russians mad at us. Uh, he didn't do anything about the liberty. It was covered up, and uh, those uh, descendant or um, the survivors of that are, and their families are still uh, upset about that. And uh, and if, Car if Obama wanted to do something, he would investigate that and. Uh, Really, there'll be no peace in the Mideast as long as we're supporting Israel. So, uh, supporting Israel is not our job. There's no, we have no treaty with Israel. There's no other country has a lobby over here. The Italians don't have a lobby. The Swiss don't have a lobby. The Greeks don't have a lobby. Just the Israelis have this lobby, which uh, is routinely blackmailing, uh, uh, coercing, and bribing Congress to support Israel. I know you think Obama is a lousy president. I know you think, uh, et cetera, et cetera, about Israel. I mean, what's the big deal? Are you president of Israel? So, uh, you know, somebody's fed you a line of bull crap, and uh, you've been eating it. So uh, you've been now you've got putting out your own videos, <clears throat> like you know what you're talking about. And I got to tell you, Donald, you don't know what you're talking about. So on foreign policy, you're fired. Okay, so don't even think about running for president unless you get me to talk to you for a couple of hours, and uh, I'll give you the videos, the books, uh, 
the sources, everything. You know, uh, if you did some reading, I know you're busy and I know you like golf courses and you got a high life. You just bought a winery, winery in, uh, in Virginia. But, uh, you know, to tell you the truth, when you talk about money, you know, Bill Gates was worth $90 billion dollars. Uh, 20 years ago, I mean, uh, you, I know your net worth went from $2 billion to $7 billion, but the dollar <clears throat> has gone down. So, like, you know, an ounce of gold was $2,000 for a little while. <clears throat> so you figure an ounce of gold used to be $35. So inflation is almost, uh, you know, way up there, 50%, 60%. A <clears throat> dollar is probably only worth $0.02 cents or something. You could take your net worth and divide by 100 probably get what you're really worth in gold uh, around 1906. Uh, if you go back to 1906 when you can eat all day on 10 cents, uh, you sure as hell can eat all day on 10 cents an hour, even a, one meal on 10 cents, especially in New York. Uh, you need at least 10 or $15 uh, to eat. I mean, a um, fish sandwich uh, is <laughs> It's it's ridiculous at McDonald's now. It used to be uh, hamburgers 15 cents. You go in there, there's nothing less than $5 <coughs> except a fish sandwich <coughs> in Manhattan. So uh, forget about it, as they say. Okay, so you li uh, listen, Don, I like you. I think you're a great guy. You've got a pretty good education. I wouldn't say you're well-educated. I'd say you're half-educated. You haven't gone through a reflective study of the past. You haven't gone through a philosophical study. I'm sure you don't know the history of Western philosophy. You sure as hell don't know Chinese philosophy. But you should, if you think of yourself as a, a decent guy, go back to the Old uh, Testament and Isaiah saying, resist not evil, and love your enemies. Go back to Jesus saying, love God, do what you will. Basically, uh, live and let live and... Uh, you also, reading uh, George Washington's farewell address would give you a lot of good advice, basically. I would tell you to follow him. He says to use debt sparingly, to pay down the debt in peacetime. Uh, Eisenhower said you didn't need a big peacetime defense budget. We haven't declared war since 1941. We don't really need to be in war. Ron Paul's right on a lot of things. Like you say, you, uh, you listen to him. I think uh, the Israelis have somehow got you by the balls, frankly. Uh, I don't know how they did it. Uh, I'm sure, I know you've got handlers. I know you're isolated. Uh, if you really want to know what the hell's going on, you don't want a yes man. I'm sure as hell not a yes man. I can tell you, call me, 201-699-0208. I'll be glad to talk to you. And listen, I could use your help uh, I could even be your campaign manager if you really want to run, but uh, this apprentice thing, you've got to, yeah, you're successful, but you know the American public is like on a fourth grade uh, level for TV or something. I mean, uh, they're just interested in your show because you're rich and they like to see the fights, you know, the infighting, the politics, you know, that's dirty office politics behind that stuff. But the, some of the stuff these guys are doing, making cupcakes and stuff, uh, you know, the public isn't getting, uh, I mean, the people buying this product, sometimes uh, they're getting a lousy deal. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, you know, I mean, you can't really, uh, some of these things, I would have the guys building domes or some kind of uh, hurricane-proof uh, building or something uh, take a little bit longer, you know, train them, uh, let them work with other people. Uh, Blah, blah, blah. I mean, uh, there's a lot of things you could do, but um, I don't think that, I think you could do more as president than you can do as uh, on The Apprentice. Let's face it, charity is a good thing, but you know, you can't give away, you're not going to give away all your money, but uh, you know, you can do more helping people uh, in the long term. Like Abraham Lincoln, he had the Civil War. By the way, Obama is in the tradition, going back to Martin Luther King, to, uh, to Abraham Lincoln freeing the slaves, to King getting the voting rights for the slaves, the rights he said they should have had from birth. Uh, Obama's father was uh, served under Patton in uh, Europe. I mean, he was a, uh, in supplies or something in the army, but I mean, uh, Obama's uh, half white and... Uh, 
the Republicans just can't get over the fact that the black man's president. They really couldn't get over Clinton. In fact, they think they own the White House. Uh, you'd be better off as a Democratic Republican. Uh, recreate the Democratic Republican Party of Thomas Jefferson. Get the independents to become independent, become Democratic Republicans. Um, you get 40% of the votes from the Democrats, 40% from the Republicans. Run right down the middle, take 80% of the vote. But you've got to have an honest foreign policy. You can't have this piracy where you take... Uh, uh, people's resources. You can't take Iraq's oil. You can't take Libya's oil. <clears throat> you can't conquer a country and take their resources. That's imperialism. That that's out with uh, Hitler and Mussolini. I mean, uh, and calling people in, you know, letting Sarah Palin come and Gingrich come is kind of ridiculous. Uh, in a kind of, I mean, it's like uh, Hitler calling in Mussolini to just talk how they're going to carve up Europe. You know, I mean. Uh, Gingrich is not the man, uh, you know. <laughs> Believe me, he's part of the problem. He's not part of the solution. He was in there. He he got rid of Jim Wright, who was like the 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 most honest speaker we ever had. Then he went after Clinton. He led the impeachment of Clinton. Who a lot of people like Clinton. And uh, believe me, he's uh, Clinton's a better man than Newt Gingrich. Uh, he shut down the government while he was in there with the. You know, because he got mad because Clinton made him sit on the back of the airplane. <clears throat> and uh, he's bragging now. He's acting now like he's Ronald Reagan. You know, he's going around saying he's a Reagan man. And uh, he wanted to freeze the budget when Reagan didn't want to freeze the budget. Uh, he didn't really support Reagan with Gorbachev. Uh, he thought that was like uh, Hitler and Chamberlain and, and Munich in 38, uh which was a complete betrayal of England in '38. And by the way, uh, Poland was making a deal to, uh, to with England and Germany to uh, to uh, betray the Soviet Union, and that's why the Soviets invaded uh, Poland. They took over half of Poland in '39, but uh, they were turning it socialist, and uh, the socialists were letting the Jews work in Russia and uh, the Soviet Union, so they liked. Yet, and if you listen to Mort Zurkheimer, he's saying uh, the Russian Revolution was Jewish. Trotsky's uh, real name was Bronstein. Marx was Jewish. Um, Hitler, on the other hand, was Catholic, and uh, he uh, got the Pope to support him. And uh, Pope Pius XII uh, sold out and uh, made a deal with Hitler. Uh, so. Uh, the Catholics, uh, they say, helped uh, the Vatican helped uh, smuggle a bunch of Nazis over here after the war. Hitler paid him fifty million dollars, and uh, they read the book Hitler's Pope. That's the book on that. Read Richard Clark's Against All Enemies. Read Rich, uh, Victor Ostrowski by way of deception, the other side of deception uh, about who lied to get us in Iraq. You know, Hitler killed the seven million Poles. Half of those were uh, Jewish. Uh, but the U.S. Congress had cut off Polish Jewish immigration in 1921-24, so uh, we we had a head of immigration was anti-Semitic here in 1939. The Israelis don't trust us. They uh, think we might make a deal with the Arabs over oil. And uh, really, uh, you never know. I mean, they wanted to get rid of Saddam because they uh, he was moderate, allied with Jordan, who was, uh, uh, mo you know, Jordan was moderate towards Israel, was allied with Syria, I mean, was the enemy of Syria and uh, Iran, which was Israel's real enemies, but uh, this crap about Israel wanting to bomb, uh, you know, they, uh, Israelis wanted to get rid of Saddam and Iraq's big army, and now they got rid of Saddam and Iraq's big army. So they got what they wanted, and uh, and now they want to bomb Iran, which is not making nuclear weapons, and start World War Three. And uh, Ron Paul saying, "Let them do what they want to do. We're selling them uh, F-35. Uh, we're selling them 23 stealth bombers, so they can go in there. Iran has 11,000." Conventional rockets from Russia. They can shoot down 12 jets with one rocket. Um, the Israelis don't want to lose so many jets, so they want our stealth bombers. And uh, some idiot here is selling them the stealth bombers. We're also selling the Saudis F-15s. 
And uh, Ron Paul's saying, uh, why are we selling Saudis uh, F-15s so they can uh, fight Israel? I mean, I mean, fight, uh, excuse me, uh, Iran? Think about this. Uh, Iran is allied with Russia and China is uh, involved. By the way, this thing with Libya, uh, I heard the Chinese had invested in the oil fields there. We're trying to get rid of the Chinese because they're surpassing us economically. Uh, somebody's wanting to control the Mediterranean. That's why they want to get the Russians out of Syria. And they're starting this uh, crap over there. Uh, the Egyptian stuff started in the, the capital, but the Libyan stuff started in the oil fields. It did not start in the capital. And uh, NATO is obsolete. It was created to destroy the Soviet Union. It did that, and uh, along with the Israelis and the KGB, wanted to get rid of Gorbachev and read all about it in Ostrovsky's book, uh, The Other Side of Deception. But uh, the fact is that uh, we're we're picking on Iran. And uh, George Washington said we should not favor or disfavor any nation. We should not be disfavoring Iran or. Russia or Cuba or Venezuela. In fact, the uh, countries with oil we should be favoring right now. But uh, we do have oil in the uh, Warren G. Harding Reserve. We should be building a pipeline from the Warren G. Harding Reserve down to, or at least to Prudhoe Bay, but I'd bring it down to the floor 48s if you want a pipeline. Western Alaska, we've got 54 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. That's where Obama should have been building. And, uh, Tell you the truth, Obama has dropped the ball. Uh, he's born in 1960. Uh, he's uh, eight years younger than me. He is, and people say he's a little green. He is kind of green. He doesn't know what I know. And uh, for some reason, um, he's got Hillary running around trying to start another war with Korea. And uh, this is ridiculous. We did. We don't need any wars. Uh, We've had enough wars. I was born in '52. Uh, been, you know, spent 20, 30 years watching World War II movies. Then we got into uh, Korea. I mean, we were in Korea when I was born. Then we got into Vietnam, and the, the Nazis and the CIA misled us uh, here, there, and everywhere. And then, uh, and then the Iraq War started. In '91, and then back in 2001, we got attacked by the Arabs, but. Uh, Basically, Bin Laden is mad because we put Christian troops in uh, Saudi Arabia in, in the 91 war, which the uh, Mossad uh, agitated to start. So, uh, really, the Israelis have created a lot of trouble over there, and they don't want the Mossad doesn't want peace; it wants war, unconditional surrender. So they actually kill people who try to start peace, and. Uh, they do have a hit team which will come after you if they think they're working, you're working against them. Uh, but like Joe Biden says, the Israeli lobby doesn't represent the majority of the Israelis. Uh, the Israelis, uh, the Jews only uh, represent 2% of the electorate here, and they're split down the middle between the, the pro-war and the pro-peace people, the hawks and the doves. And uh, Gingrich and Romney are hawks. Centorum's a hawk. Uh, only Ron Paul is a dove. You should be going with the peace candidate. <clears throat> if you really wanted to do something, you should run as vice president under uh, Ron Paul. If he gets nominated, I would be up on Ron Paul right now. But even I'd like to talk to Ron Paul because he knows Congress has abdicated his powers as the president. He doesn't know why. He doesn't know that some of them have been blackmailed to support Israel and. Uh, Basically, uh, this uh, and I think even the president is misled on this. I know he, he agreed with uh, the French president that Netanyahu is a liar. Netanyahu is not just a liar; he planted it, or he uh, exposed the planted evidence that Kurt Waldheim was a Nazi, which was made up by the Mossad to get rid of Waldheim because they didn't like us. He was against their policy in southern Lebanon, and the Mossad. Uh, pretty well tore up Lebanon. They you know, help assassinate uh, kings or royal family members over there. They uh, kept the civil war going for 10 years and 90,000 people died in. They, uh, they're 
you just can't trust those guys and uh, they are greedy lazy selfish conceited extremely right wing and they've crossed the line they've gone they they are fascists they used to border on fascism they now are fascists uh, you could call them judeo nazis <laughs> I mean, uh, they call the JDL in New York today a Nazis, but uh, you've got some fanatics uh, on both sides. The Arabs aren't helping because they uh, they haven't learned civil disobedience yet. They should be disobeying civilly instead of bombing and uh, shooting rockets and stuff. They haven't learned that violence breeds violence. So uh, you kind of think, you know, it's still an eye for an eye, tooth for tooth over there. It's the Old Testament stuff. So, um, like George Washington said, we shouldn't get involved in foreign entanglements. So, so you said you should know what you're doing, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, follow your own ten keys to success and, uh, and know what you're doing. And uh, you need to read. So that's my advice. Thank you.